They call Los Angeles the City of Angels. Well, I've never met an angel, but in my profession I run into my share of devils. I'd been rolling ones on the job all week, and was starting to feel like my life was a critical failure. So I wanted to relax, take my mind off work. I had a hot date with a cool game I met on Kickstarter. A natural 20 in the looks department, and I was hoping it had the mechanisms to match. But it went missing, like the theme in a Canizia Euro. Someone was in need of my services. And that someone was me. Huh. Still warm. The chase is on, my friend. The trail of cigarettes led me to a real low life. I could tell this was the kind of guy who'd re-roll a bad die if it fell off the table, but would keep a good one. Got a light? You know smoking's a dirty habit. Yeah, well you know what else is a dirty habit? Fencing board games. Why don't you show me what you got? What kind of player count are you looking for? <laughs> for Monopoly? Zero. It's great for kids. Yeah, well I don't want to be guilty of endangering the welfare of a minor. Well, it comes with a get out of jail free card. You know what? I ain't got time to play Monopoly. I'm looking for a real game, a hobby type game, one of those Kickstarter exclusives. I had to rough the goon up a bit, so we'll fade out before things get ugly. But he tipped me off to a flop house in Bunker Hill where junkies go to get their gaming fix. Unfortunately, he tipped someone else off too, because the joint was emptier than the ladies' room in a magic tournament. But just like in magic, I got a lucky card draw at the last moment that I could use to make a big play. Shelf Shrinkers is the front for a gaming mafia, a crooked racket that promises tiny copies of big boxes but instead strips games down and sells the parts. I should have known they'd be mixed up in this. By the time I got to their warehouse, it had been cleared out. It was like the thieves could see my hand. They knew my every move before I made it. And they also knew how to hurt me. I've seen a few stiffs in my time, but this one was an old friend, and that made it personal. Still warm. I may have been too late to save my old friend, but I was ready to make an accusation. I didn't need a map to tell me where the killer was, but it makes for a good transition. The jig is up. I followed your trail. Time to reveal your identity, thief. The detective City of Angels. You stole yourself. But why? What was your motive? Did you need to be noticed? Did you want revenge? Oh. Of course. Greed. This is the perfect crime. You fake your own disappearance to make yourself even more exclusive, and then you're worth even more when you get on the resell market. Well, you ain't gonna get away with it this time. Not on my watch. I'm gonna... Ah, who am I kidding? We belong together, baby. Come on home. I still got room on my shelf for you. Back where you belong. But I still got a few unanswered questions. How'd you get around? And the cigarette? How'd you smoke it? And who helped you kill Clue? Or did you do it yourself? Got a bad taste in my mouth, baby. And it ain't from this meeple flavored bubblegum. I had a feeling that, like a six-player game of Twilight Imperium, I wasn't going to be getting out of there anytime soon. I guess the chisel wins. For now. <laughs>